Hello, this is Better Than Smeg bringing you another Black 2 White 2 battle against my man Robotnik is sexy. It's an NU battle. We did have two battles. We had an RU and an NU, but I'm going to upload the RU maybe tomorrow and the NU's coming first because it was the better battle in my opinion. So anyway, I'm using a couple of weird pokes. I'm uh, far fetched in cast form, but cast form, not cast, well, just going to call it cast form. But anyway, it's called England mm, because it's a rain dancing set. And yeah, it rains a lot in England, as you probably know if you live in England, because it rained all June. Like it was the wettest June, like since records began. I could come up with a Michael McIntyre joke there, but I can't be bothered because I can't remember it all. But anyway, the ironic thing is that it's really hot and quite sunny out, which is just—it's not really hot. I say hot, really hot for our standards, probably not really hot for other standards. But it's pretty boiling actually. I shouldn't wear, really wear trackies in this weather. But anyway. Cutting up the rain dance, and he's going to go into Superior thinking he knows the water move is coming. Good for the Hydro Pump, I'm Life Orb, you know, it's stab, super effective, not super effective, not very effective, and he does a lot of damage mainly because of the critical hit. Kind of sucks, but I got two power hacks, so it doesn't really suck as much, and I would have been set up a bit earlier, so I probably could have set up a substitute, and yeah, but that doesn't really matter. He's going to kill me off the Giga Drain, which is in overgrow range, which makes me angry! Oh, anyway, that was. He did alright, this cast form. He did a lot of damage to Superior, despite he could have drained it all away. And I don't know about you, but get, Superior's always in the battles recently, if that makes any sense. Like, in my last three battles, I've seen a fucking Superior. It's like, what the hell? And they've always been annoying. Well, they've not really been annoying. It's just mainly Nightstorm was annoying. But this was annoying because it used Taunt on my Duggars. So that was quite annoying. But anyway, the only attacking move we've got is Clear Smog. Gonna go for it, and he's gonna bring in his Barnaby. And I don't really want to take anything funky, like... I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, I went into Shuckle thinking maybe T-Wave was coming, I don't really know, but he's going to um, switch over me the Flame Orb, and I was like, no, don't give me the Choice Band, but he doesn't give me the Choice Band, which is sweet. He's going to go for the Magic Coat, while I just go for the Shell Smash, thought, fuck it, I'm contrary, might as well. And this makes my defences go fucking sky high. Now, this is probably the wrong time to actually do this, but I don't really care. I wish I had my leftovers, because I don't really care about the burn, because I don't really attack, and I have the rest. So, we go for the Toxic on this switch, because I'm thinking he can't really do anything to me. He's going to bring out the Gigalith. And I was like, well, I could probably take a hit, because I'm, like, super high defenses. And, yeah, I don't mainly because that Giga Gigalith is Choice Banded, because it did so much. Oh, my God. Choice Banded Gigalith is actually amazing. It's like 405 attack. But with the choice band, it's like a 600 billion zillion. But anyway, I go into Grumpig here. I could have gone into Coughing just to take the hit, but I was like, I don't really know. I'm just going to go into Grumpig just to set up the Reflect. I live it, thankfully, and now I'm going to go for the Psychic just to do some damage. And he is going to go for the Stone Edge, but thankfully fucking miss. So, good job for Stone Edges. Pretty shaky accuracy. The Poison isn't going to kill him, which is really annoying. But I'm going to try and kill him off anyway. Go for the Psychic. It's going to hit this incoming Barnaby. Uh, no, Lepunny. Gonna get a crit, I think. Yes, I get the crit, which is excellent, excellent, excellent. And I was like, well, he can't really do anything to me, so I'm gonna kill him again, or rather go for another psychic. But he goes to the healing wish, and I was like, no, don't you fucking dare. You, you, you sod. He's gonna actually go into the Gigalith, and he's going to bring it back to full fighting strength. I didn't want that, because Gigalith's a cock. So yeah, kind of healing wish kind of fucked me over there. Not, not really fucked me over, fucked me over, fucked me over. But it was quite annoying because now he's back up to sturdy rate, sturdy, and yes, yeah. so I'm going to go for the psychic because I want to break his sturdy, and I know he's going to kill me with the stone edge, but I thought maybe he might miss again. But he's going to bring in superior, and I'm going to be able to get a free psychic off. But I was thinking here, I was like, well, I can't be too sure if he'll go for the taunt, so that's why I just went for psychics. I just thought, fuck it, I'm just going to play like a noob, go for the same move over and over again, not predicting anything, go for the psychic. And it actually worked in this case because he's going to go for the taunt. They could either go for something funky like uh, Reflect or T-Wave or something, but no, we go for the Psychic again, and while well, he's going to go for the Giga Drain do nothing, so I thought, yeah, this is in the bag, I don't really care if he's going to be in Overgrow range next turn, because I'll be able to take it like a beast. Go for the Psychic, seeing how much they are doing, so I'll be, I'll, I, th I was thinking to myself, I might be able to win uh, this little war that's going down, but he's going to go for the Giga Drain, Overgrow range, thinking I could take it, but no, I'm going to get the crit, and I was like, oh, you're kidding me but then i'm gonna go for the psychic and get a crit myself so it was like oh well never mind thing is though it did make grumpig be on lower health than i wanted it to which is annoying but it doesn't really matter now Ooh, it's slowed down a bit oh no yeah it does mean it's really annoying it's really it fluctuates with how speedy it goes but anyway 
He's going to go into the Lux Train. Seeing how he's got Intimidate, not good. So that means I can bring in Coughing after he's going to kill me with the Wild Charge and go for the will o -Wisp. Now, I do know he has the Emboar, so I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to go for the Pain Split. And even if he stays in, predicting me to predict him to go for the Emboar, I went for the Pain Split would have been good anyway, because then he would have done some damage to me, and then I would have healed it mostly back up, seeing how much the look coughing actually has high base uh, HP. I lost my sentence there, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I'm going to take that Flame Charge like an absolute son of a mastered. And I'm going to go for the paint split just to get a little bit back up while I've got the clear smog as well. And now I've lost my sentence. But anyway, he's going to bring in Alan Momola on my clear smog. And I was like, right, you put in Alan Momola for a reason. And I'm thinking in the back of my mind, you are going to nail me with my own set. Yes, he's going to go for the soak. And as you guys probably know, if you are an old subscriber, that I have used soak Alan Momola and... I thought it was a trademark of me, to be honest. But then again, other people might be like, oh, let's just look on Cerebi, see what he does. Or, you know, look at my video and thought, hmm, that is a pretty interesting set. I don't know what uh, Robotnik is sexy did, but I hopefully it was he looked at my video and thought that was a pretty good set. But if he didn't, then that's fair enough. So now that I saw the soak, I was like, yeah, I definitely know it was coming because I have this set and I'm going to switch into Nidorino, the poison type, to take the poison move at the toxic move. So that's all dandy. Going to set up three home claws. I don't know. He's probably going to go for the soak again. He goes for the soak again, which is pretty sound. And I am feeling all right. I'm up plus one, plus two if he can't hustle, plus one accuracy. So the hustle boost is like kind of not... The hustle boost is boosted more, if that makes any sense, and I know he's got the intimidating look straight, but I don't really could care less, because I know a poison jab is going to do a ton of damage, because I'm near max attack, well I'm actually max attack adamant I think, I'm not too sure, but after this look straight is gone, I could probably sweep him, so I misclicked here however, I went for the sucker punch, and I kind of forgot that I was soaked, I was, oh this is a stupid play on my part. For two reasons, mainly because I forgot I was soaked, and two, because I misclicked and didn't go for this sucker punch. I went for home claws by accident, but it doesn't really matter. He's going to nearly molest himself anyway, so I'm going to switch in nonsense, which is my far-fetched. I thought, well, fuck it, I'm going to go for the quick attack just to like take him out, but he's going to switch into Animal Mall, and I was like, well, that's okay, because if he wants to bring in the Luxray again to intimidate me, that's fine, because I have the Defiant ability, which... If any of your stats are lowered, then your attack is raised by two stages, which is pretty sound. That means that anybody that wants to come in like Intimidator, that means you're going to get a plus one attack. So he's going to go for the soak, which kind of helps me actually, because that increases my um, increases the increases my defensive coverage, if that makes any sense. Because normal I'm flying, I'm weak to like rock and electric. I'm still weak to electric now, I suppose, but I'm weak to grass as well, actually. And so it's probably not as good as I thought. But at least I'm not weak to ice, so I don't think he actually has any ice users. So probably that wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. But never mind. Going to go for a couple of curses. I think I went for the leaf blade there, and it did kind of fuck all. So I kind of go for another curse here, just to do... Just to try and get some more damage potential out while he's going to wish up. So the only reason, the only way I can actually kill this Alamo Mola is to get loads of curses, then go for the leaf, gra leaf grade, leaf blade, and hope for some critical hits. So yeah, but anyway, I've got to have to. I'm going to have to deal with this other Pokemon first, which is annoying in the very least. But it, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. He's going to bring out the Luxray, go for the Intimidate, and I'm going to be like, no, because I've got the detect. The Defiant, and I really need another sip of Tango. Give me one second. Give me the Leap Blade, you know, on the switch. To kill him off. So, yeah, Farfetch killed a Pokemon. Which is nonsense. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so this is actually. Wow, it went. Yeah, it's done it again. It's gone slow again, but yeah, no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. Yep, no, no, yep, no. Anyway. He's going to bring out the Gigalith now. Go for the Stone Edge. He's going to miss Thank Fuck for that, but I'm not weak to it anymore because I am part water now, so. Going to go for the Leaf Blade, hoping for the crit, because I'm not really too convinced it would kill him. Yeah, because even though I'm on plus three, Farfetch attack isn't really that great, and even though he's not invested at all in defense, Gigadith has monstrous defense, about base 130 base defense, somewhere along that line. So, yeah, Gigadith is a strong poke in terms of attack and defense. Pretty weak in terms of special attack speed and special defense, but I really like it. I think it's an amazing design, but anyway... Bringing out coughing, knowing I could take like stone edges for days, and I am kind of boned here as I only have coughing left, I think, and he's got animal roller, which is kind of a counter to coughing, as you are going to see. He's going to go for the soak, and then he's going to go for the toxic. And I really do highly recommend soak toxic animal roller because that means that you'll be able to wall anything with toxic wish. And I have knockoff on mine, as I was supposed to bring my. 
and I'm a molder to the battle with Septile's Obliteration, but I brought the offensive one instead, which was annoying, but nah, doesn't really matter. So I'm thinking uh, there's no point in um, just stalling, you know, there's no point in prolonging this battle, so I'm just going to run. I know the game's lost, but anyway, that was a really fun battle, Robotnik is sexy. Please check him out after the battle. And remember to comment, because I like seeing your comments. I like to see the like ratings. Like, go. Boom. And I'd like to, I do like to see the sub comment. Oh, I've lost my thing. Anyway, I like to see, you know, the comment, the subscribe. So if you like to help make me happy, then please do one of the above, or three of the above. That would be very nice. But make sure you check out the other videos as well, because, I, I, yeah, I've kind of lost what I was going to say. But if you love me, then you'll do it. Yeah! Anyway, uh, I am, yeah, that was really bad narration on that part, but hopefully you enjoyed it, so yeah, goodbye.